Three iPhones are expected to be announced this Tuesday, but if you're thinking of upgrading, how much money should you put aside? What's the difference gonna be between all three? That's what this video is all about. And I'm gonna start by talking about the design. You can expect three phones, like I said, the smallest being the iPhone 8, the larger one being the iPhone 8 Plus, and the most premium of the three being the iPhone X. The name's still up for debate. The sizes are gonna be questionable in terms of which is the biggest because the biggest screen looks like it'll be the X. It'll have a 5.8 inch 18 by nine screen, but some leaks suggest that the biggest chassis is gonna be the 5.5 inch iPhone 8 Plus. The iPhone 8 based on leaks will look really, really similar to the predecessors, the 7 and 7 Plus, whereas the X will encompass its all new design. You can expect all of them to have some key similarities. IP68 water and dust resistance, no headphone jacks, sorry. Sorry guys, but there may be a few key design differences between the X and the iPhone 8, specifically the glass back. It's been purported that the iPhone X will have a glass back in order to support wireless charging. It looks like there could also be some screen differences between the three iPhones. The iPhone 8 will probably have IPS displays, just like those found on the original iPhones right through to the 7s. The more premium one, the X or 8 or Edition, looks like it will have an AMOLED display provided by Samsung, just like the Galaxy Note 8, the Samsung Galaxy S8, and the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. What that means is deeper blacks, more punch, and more pop. I'm really hoping that Apple ups the resolution across all of the devices because none of the iPhones are super competitive resolution wise, but at least with the 18 by nine most premium of the bunch, we'd expect at least 2K resolution on that 18 by nine screen, putting it on par in terms of size, technology, and resolution with the Galaxy S8. There have also been a few leaks around storage, 64 gigs, 128 gigs, and 256 gigabytes. The iPhone X or Edition may well get an additional size, 512 gigabytes, potentially losing out on one of the lower size capacities. Some leaked pictures of the iPhone's chassis also suggest that the iPhone X 8 Premium eight. will have a vertically stacked dual camera setup. That's by contrast to the horizontally stacked dual camera setup on the current iPhone 7 Plus and what looks like to be the iPhone 8 Plus. Why does that make a difference? The vertically stacked sensors may make it better attuned to AR, something that it looks like Apple will really be pushing this year. Meanwhile, those same leaked pictures also suggest the smallest of the bunch won't have a dual camera, so it won't be able to support that blurred background, sharp foreground portrait mode, but you can expect that supported in the larger two devices. We're expecting a power boost across the board on this year's iPhones, the Apple A11 chipset. Potentially, it'll be an A11 Fusion in the more premium one. Have to wait until Tuesday to find out. Hopefully, we'll also get more RAM as well, at least three gigabytes and maybe even four gigabytes in the X, which would be the most RAM we've seen in an Apple phone device to date. Another gray area has been biometrics. It looks like the 8 will be keeping the fingerprint scanners exactly like we've seen them in past iPhones, but the X will probably have an iris scanner or something to compensate for a potential lack of fingerprint scanner. The renders that have leaked don't show the fingerprint scanner anywhere, unless of course Apple's managed to get that under the front glass, which would be a world first. In the last generation of iPhones, Apple increased the battery capacity and that change was well received because the iPhone 6 didn't perform so well. So we're guessing between the improved battery in the last generation and the more efficient chipset that's coming on this generation, the A11, which we spoke about, Apple probably will keep the batteries the same. That means 1960 milliamps in the iPhone 8, that means 2900 milliamps in the 8 Plus, and for the new one, it'll be an all new battery capacity and it'll probably be around 3000 if it wants to be competitive with the Samsung Galaxy S8. Finally, price. And in the smallest capacity variants, you can probably expect to pay around 700 pounds for the iPhone 8, around 800 to 850 for this plus, and the biggest of the bunch, or at least the biggest screen of the bunch, the iPhone X most premium iPhone Pro, looks like it'll be nearer the 950 to 1000 pound mark. That's a huge amount of money. It will all be confirmed on Tuesday. Hopefully you found this video useful in prepping your wallets for this announcement. If you did, then make sure you head over to techradar.com. There is plenty more where this came from. Thanks for watching.